I'm Vanessa Franco. Welcome to another edition of PE Live. I'm joined by two very talented musicians. Very happy to have Shine Delphi here, as well as Nathan Rivera. Thank you guys. Thank you for coming in. Thanks for having us. I'm really excited. Now, you guys, like, can you talk a little bit about you know who your musical influences are? Like, what your first, like, what is your first musical memory that you have? Uh. I grew up listening to metal, and my first musical memory is having my brother take my little baby head and rock it back and forth, like headbanging to Metallica. So, but I've always just played air guitar as a kid and just loved music. So, <laughs> just constantly, my parents finally got me a guitar for Christmas because I was just always jamming out on my own. So, I grew up in a musical family. My dad he played in a blues band, he played the bass, and my brother he played drums. So. We would just play music always in my house, listen to cool music that only later in life I came to appreciate. But yeah, just earliest musical memories, um, just seeing my dad play with his group, they played awesome blues. Well, and you definitely have like a, a little bit, some of that blues influence in your music. Not so much, I'm not really hearing the metal. I mean, <laughs> you're, you're, I'm not, I'm not, like, uh, can you talk a little bit about like how your sound ha has evolved like as a songwriter? Definitely traveling and meeting other people who are inspired, you know, they're inspiring to me, uh, other songwriters and just seeing cool stuff. It's really inspiring to me to see people dance. It makes me want to play music that's fun and seeing people just respond in a positive manner to the music. Like they're so happy. I just want to give them that happiness because they're going to give it right back and it's just going to be never ending. Yeah, it just feels good. I don't know, I love metal, but it's not the way my soul has ever really spoke. So it was always just, when I was a kid, I guess I was more into heavy stuff. And now I like to make it heavy in a different way. <laughs> well, I mean, as songwriters, like, you know, how does the process work for you? Go ahead, Sean. Well, you just, for me, it's just, random I like one day we'll wake up and just write six songs and then I'll go three months without writing anything <laughs> like but it's usually just inspired by some life event or something traveling meeting new people um, like I don't know just life you know that's all I really want to sing about and that's all I want to tell people about because I can relate to other people in life and so I like to put a positive spin on what most people would take as a bad thing. <laughs> and what was the question? How do you write? Like, well, like, how does the songwriting process work for you? Like, are you someone where it's like a melody comes first, or could it really be like inspired by anything? Just by anything. And I enjoy playing so many different instruments that I'll think of something while playing a ukulele, while driving traffic, or I'll just sing something when going on a jog or, uh, I don't know, it's always different, but I like to try to write music, that's for sure. I'll take time out of my day to, you know, get like a cup of coffee and just hang out by myself and play the guitar or, or the accordion. Well, you mentioned like multi-instrumentalists that you are, like how many different instruments do you play? Well, mainly play the guitar, accordion, harmonica, and sing, but other stuff, the piano, definitely the piano, um, bass. The bass, the uh, uh, bass. Yeah, I've played a lot of stuff, but that's it pretty much it. And the ukulele. <laughs> yeah, the ukulele. The banjo lady. Yeah. The manjo, too. <laughs> well, you guys, like, have a busy year coming up. You've got some tour. You're, you're going to be touring around the area. Like, what else is on the horizon for the rest of 2013? Hopefully, good stuff. You know, I'm always trying to just plan ahead and figure out what to do. Definitely something that been enjoying this year is traveling like I just came back from Mexico City so I want to continue to go to other countries and experience other cultures but also just find where it is that I can play music and I get a good response and bring this guy and we'll just play anywhere and everywhere but as far as like main events there's no like festival or anything we're going to any recordings coming up always recordings always a bunch of cool <laughs> Just, uh, yeah, watch our websites and you can see, I like to take photos of what I'm doing and try to share it with anyone who's interested. That's you. <laughs> and where can people find you on, on the internet? 
Well, you can find me at uh, facebook.com slash shine life love or reverbnation.com slash shine life if you want to listen and watch videos. Or you can just look me up on shine, look up Shine Delphi on Google and find me on Instagram and all kinds of Vine and whatever. Like, I like to also like spread what I'm doing because a lot of my friends, it all started with my friends just wanting to see where I was going and then became people that weren't just my friends that are like, they like my music and they just want to see what the hell's this guy doing? Like, he's over in uh, Colorado today going on some crazy ski trip, about to die. <laughs> so, it's just fun to I'm glad you didn't die. I'm glad yeah. that you made it through. Don't kill me yet. Yeah, you can find me on the same thing as Reverb Nation. Um, dot com slash Nathan Rivera. Facebook dot com slash Nathan Rivera. YouTube dot org. Ah! Just type me in on Google, on YouTube. I have a YouTube channel. I also like to document stuff I do, like music I play and also music I see. So that's something that I like to share. So thank you guys so much and can't wait to hear some of the performances right now. Well, thank you, Angel. <laughs> and thank you, Vanessa. Yeah.